Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on City World. So this is an amazing world generating plugin that uh, is a bit different to the ones you may have seen before. So previously I have looked at a few which create uh, maybe a void world or a world with epic mountains and trees. However, this one creates huge cities. Um, and they are really amazing. So I've created a brand new world and if we fly about a bit, I'm going to put my speed up so we can uh, have a look faster. You can see not only is there huge buildings and roads and street lanterns, there is also chests which spawn loot in, which is really, really cool. And as you can see, there is lots of different loot which you can set uh, in the config file. So we'll have a look at that later, but uh, for now let's have a look around. And this is a nice park here. Looks very nice. There's some trees that have been cut down as well. Huge buildings. Let's fly around a bit more. Loads of different types of buildings, which is cool. I believe there's like a museum with uh, fossils in, which is cool. This looks like a library. Um, here's a door <laughs> that I just created. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Oh wait, here's the door. Let's uh, pop out of here and um, have a look around a bit more. What's this over here? That looks like uh, maybe a nice park or something. Some trees. And if we fly around here, I saw some farms as well, which is a really nice touch. You can see this building's un under construction um, using cranes, which is cool. Oh, come on, where are those farms? I saw them earlier. Um, let me have a look. So not around this corner, I will show you some other features of this amazing plugin. Um, okay, here are the farms. So as you can see, there is a farm part of the city as well, and some civilian houses, which is really cool. And you're probably thinking, well, this is uh, really interesting. Does it have any more features? Yes, it does. There are lots of different types of um, city that you can create. So if we go to the world, which I've called FL, this is actually created um, a floating city, as you can see by the balloons. And you can see um, it's floating on top of a normal Minecraft world. So this is really cool. There is also a flooded city, a snowy city, a sand, um, a sandy city, which is like covered in sand. And there is also a really strange one called Astral. So let's look at that. Um, if you teleport here, it is a snow world. It's it's really peculiar. Look at this. There are <laughs> there are like um, lots of ice waterfalls, and at the bottom there is cobwebs and lava, which is really strange. And there's these really colourful um, sort of skyscraper things, and a railway as well. So this is fantastic. If you're wondering about uh, this plugin, you can download it for free off of uh, Spigot. You obviously need multiverse or uh, multi-world. I would recommend multiverse um, as it's better. Oh, I'm on fire. That's not good. Anyway, you're probably wondering, how do we create it? Well, if I go back to the original city, I can show you. So uh, let me set my speed to one and fly down here. So um, the main way to create it is obviously MVTP, not MVTP, MV create followed by the city name, so we're going to call it City1, and then um, the type of world, so it's got to be normal, and because we're using a generator, it's hyphen G, and the generator is City World. Now that command right there will create a world very similar to this. However, if you want uh, a different world, you put a colon, and then either floating, or astral, uh, like that, or sand dunes, I believe it's called, uh, sand dunes. I think that's it, so we are going to create that. Obviously, it'll take maybe 30 seconds, depending on everything. Okay, that was rather quick, so let's go city one. Hopefully, it's a sandy city. Yes, it is. So as you can see, there's been a huge sandstorm, and the sand has taken over the city. Um, only the tall buildings are sticking out the ground, which is a really cool uh, feature, maybe for a zombie apocalypse or something. Oh, and there's also a maze um, maze one as well, similar to Maze Runner, the film, if you've seen that. So um, that's enough of showcasing the different types of worlds that you can create. Uh, you can have a look for yourself, of course. We're going to go into the config file now and show you how to 
edit various things. There's only a few things you can edit, but it's uh, pretty cool that you can do this. So here we are in the config file. It's the only one. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of things that we can change. So let's start at the top. That's the most sensible place to start. Uh, you can turn off various different things such as farms, houses, sewers, roads. I didn't show you sewers, but um, there are places where you can go down the ladder and there are actual sewers with water in, which is so cool. And obviously you can uh, turn that on and off whether you want that or not. You can also um, turn off various spawners and treasure. Obviously um, that's quite a nice feature to have, so I don't know why you would turn that off. And you can also turn off decayed buildings, roads, and nature, etc. So what this does, I'll pop up a screenshot right now, it uh, makes it a destroyed city, which is a very nice feature. Obviously, um, depending on your server really, you might want to make it destroyed if you're going for an apocalypse type of server, but um, yeah, change that to however you want. Then we have the chests, so these are all the items that could be in the chest. As you saw, we found some gems and I believe an iron pickaxe or something I found earlier. So you could add more stuff if you wanted to. Um, pretty straightforward. Diamond underscore um, pickaxe, for example. And then you might be able to find that in a sewer chest. Then if we scroll down even more, past all of the items, um, scroll down even more. Um, you can change the type of materials that can appear for buildings. So you could remove, um, I don't know, maybe brick and replace it with um, some sort of wood or something if you didn't like the look of brick or you had a custom texture pack. Um, so this is cool. You can change the shacks. So you could, you, you could make them diamond if you really wanted to. So diamond, oh, what is it? Diamond underscore block that's it so um, these would be very expensive shacks as the roof is made of diamonds and you could edit this if you wanted to I would personally leave it alone and here we have the floating um, world and obviously we can change very similar things about it and obviously you can change all of the loot again and if we scroll down we are at the astral world which is personally my favorite even though it's crazy and I don't understand what it is um, you can edit lots of things in there so uh, it's all the same for each world you can edit all of that and then you get to the bottom it's quite a long config file but it's all very much the same so if we close that um, and go into our city world you can see there are schematic uh, folders for each world. So what I've done is created a new schematic. If you don't know how to create schematics, I'll link to a video. But uh, copy this. I made a skyscraper quickly. Uh, go into city world and we're going to go into city test and we're going to find high rise. And if you're wondering what these are, each of these folders is a collection of schematics. So uh, high rise, that's obviously skyscrapers and tall buildings. Um, Obviously, uh, park, you wouldn't put a skyscraper in here because that'd be benches and trees and ponds and whatnot. So uh, if you want to add custom buildings, you can do it uh, like that. But uh, yeah, that's the plugin. I will leave a link to the download below. I am on 1.9, as you can see, it works perfectly. It's a great plugin and uh, I would highly recommend it.